this is Eddie Silva for the St. Louis Symphony blog. It's a big orchestra and uh, it's making a lot of noise and uh, it's going to get louder pretty soon because this will be the second rehearsal for it. Thus spoke Zarathustra. Carlos Calmar is our guest conductor this week and uh, soon we'll have that great opening that you all know and would love from 2001 A Space Odyssey. I'll try and focus on our brass and uh, Richard Holmes playing timpani. Well, you're seeing an empty stage right now as we've taken a break for uh, Thus Spoke Zarathustra, and I have with us bass trombone player Jerry Pagano. Jerry, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Tell me, what does a trombone player love about Zarathustra? Well, Strauss's music has so much uh, for the brass, and not just trombones, trumpets. Every member of the brass family gets a good workout. He really knows how to write, write well for brass, and it's such an important part of the piece that you don't feel that you're just you know, waiting for your moment every once in a while and the rest of the time you're just sitting, uh, hopefully patiently, but that there's, right from the beginning of this piece, the brass come in and have an important part to play, as everybody knows from the movie, but as the piece continues, they only use a couple of minutes in the movie, as we all know, but as the piece continues, the brass continue to be an important part, and he just writes wonderful chordal sections and, and melodies that go through the entire brass section. Trumpets, horns, trombones, everybody gets something good to play. So don't come for the first few minutes. That's stay for right. the whole thing. You'd be surprised. If you stay beyond the first few minutes, there's lots of music there that you'll really enjoy. That Who knew? You know, it's not in the movie. Thank you, Jerry. You're welcome. 